Not today, motherfuck. Oh, Sassy Hook here, preferring AR-15s over pumped up kicks. Today we're going to talk about something that I get a rock hard nostalgia boner for. Newgrounds is one of the most creative places on the internet, and also sometimes one of the most demented. Not that those two qualities are necessarily mutually exclusive. After all, Van Gogh didn't really get good until he got syphilis. The beauty about Newgrounds is that anyone with some skills, most often with making flash games and videos, can get noticed. To that effect, the website has launched many internet artists' careers, but for most people, Newgrounds is a place to find hours and hours of entertainment, and you'll get all sorts, especially in the early days. It all started with Tom Fulp's online gaming fan magazine back in 91. His online group was based around the Japanese console Neo Geo, so he named it Newground, a synonym of that. In 95, Tom found a place online to start a webpage called Newground Remix. This is where he created Club of Seal and the whole Assassin section that still exists today. <laughs> Man, that's so edgy, my wrists are bleeding. So Tom ended up making a second webpage because he lost access to the back end of the first. It was called New Ground Atomics. So now he had two webpages with the acronyms Nigger and Nigga. Can you lend a nigga a pencil? Uh, could you repeat the definition? We coming for you, nigga! Shortly after putting on his big boy pants and buying Newgrounds.com, he got attacked by the BBC over his Teletubby Funland game. They were so offended that anyone would defile their precious communist propaganda. But since the laws were a little more friendly in the US than the UK, he was just like, fair use, bitch. There's not much to corrupt. Those things always gave me nightmares anyways. They're so, I don't know, institutionalized. Like they're living in some kind of communist space colony and they're being pumped full of Prozac to not lose their shit. Those stomach video signals are their precious few interactions with the outside world and serves to keep them perpetually infantilized so that they can better endure their pointless, unstimulating existence. <laughs> Now 2000 is when the site became something you might recognize today. Tom and his buddy Ross created The Portal, a place where anyone could submit their work and have it be judged by others. Up until this point, it was still mostly the Tom Fulp show, but things were changing. They developed the Grounds Gold system, which would determine people's voting power over submissions. Basically, the more you interacted with the site, the more points you would accumulate. And they introduced a whole system of levels, each with their own icons to make things more fun. Users upvote their favorites and blame whatever they don't like and get rewarded for their time with more power. So it's kind of like YouTube heroes, except it's full of edgelords and people with actual talent instead of professional victims and shut it downers. Back then, there was also points rewarded for referrals, but too many people found ways to abuse it. They also added a chat room and forums, which turned a collection of flash games and movies into a real community. And Tom's brother Wade, who was heavily involved from the early early days, was put in charge of administration. This was also the year that Newgrounds gained its iconic tank symbol. Okay Bert, we're gonna do the FDA song. <laughs> What's that? You know, the FDA song is a song about, you know, fucking dead ass. That's right, open dick, I wanna fuck that ass, I wanna stick that dick wide in there, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, the gang is so out of here. It's a real job, yeah, lick that fucking asshole, yeah. Fucking stick oh, that dick in, yeah. baby. Yeah. Oh, fucking yeah. slide it in and slide it out. Like a rock and ride, baby. In 2001, the internet bubble burst, and Newgrounds was struggling to stay afloat while bigger sites were going down left and right. Tom, Wade, and Ross soldiered on despite the ad revenue slowing way down, and Tom kept right on with his passion of making flash games. <laughs> By 2002, Ross left to become a teacher, leaving just the Fulp brothers to keep the site alive. He resorted to porn ads to keep the site afloat, but it was running painfully slow now and growth was stagnating. They needed to upgrade their hosting, but the money just wasn't there. This is when Tom's buddy James showed up and saved the day by optimizing the shit out of everything. Also in 2002, Tom teamed up with Dan Paladin to create Alien Hominid, which would later go to console.
In 2003, they added the audio portal. The idea was to have independent musicians put up their work for Flash creators to use at will in exchange for the exposure. Will Stamper impressed everyone with a front page design that year and ended up joining the team because of it. In 2004, the time trial collaborations were started and it really popularized the concept. There's been all kinds of different collaborations, especially on the topic of video games. We've got one man down, one man down. The enemy's in possession of the corpse. What are you doing? We've got to find the next Zoe spirit. Almost got it. Almost. This is no time to be a horn dog. New Pokemon Snap Triple X. My theory on why people love to sexualize video game characters is because they feel like they grew up with them. So there's that familiarity factor from interacting with them more than real girls. You also don't have to listen to her girlfriends talking shit about you in the next room. And then have her reject your awkward advances and say something like, oh, you'll find somebody like you're a fucking dog in the animal shelter. Well, some dolls can do tricks, but the only trick I know is you, bitch. Also that year, Tom hired his buddy Tim as a system administrator, and that December was when Numa Numa hit the interwebs. And since it started off in Newgrounds, they were finally getting some good press for once. YouTube wouldn't even hit the scene for another year. In 2005, things were just overall going well, and Tom and Dan Paladin created Dad and Me. <laughs> This was also the year that Tom's team really started looking like they had their shit together in the real world by buying a building and setting up Newgrounds HQ. No longer would they live like a bunch of nomadic flash gypsies. They also hired Jeff Benelin, better known as Johnny Utah, who would remake the tank logo. In 2006, there was some new faces, including Ross coming back. They also finally had the bright idea to create an art portal. From then on, it was somewhat kinda smooth sailing for the website. Anyways, going back to 2003, Tom, Dan, and a couple others created a video game development company called The Behemoth. Their first game was when they developed Alien Hominid for consoles. It was a big hit with indie gamers because of Dan Paladin's art style and its retro feel. Their second game was Castle Crashers in 2008, another hugely popular game that saw a lot of tributes on Newgrounds. Excuse me, sir. This is Castle Eldred, I believe. I am- Are you dead? What? How do I know you are not dead? Inspired by various school shootings, Pico School, made in 99, was Tom's first real work of art with Flash. It involves exploration elements and shooting everything that moves. The game pushed Flash 3 to its limits, and appealed to nihilistic 90s kids who felt the compulsion to rebel against their shitty hippie boomer parents everywhere, and tried to find their own identity in things like goth music and gangster rap. Everybody wanna be a so Pico and his crew, Neen and Darnell, quickly became NG mascots. Neen is the obligatory knife-wielding Asian who faces her problems by saying, well, maybe I should just fucking kill myself. And Darnell is Pyro Negro Token. Pico has had tons of spin-offs and tributes, with the annual Pico Day starting in 2006.
Pico also has a chaotic berserker spin-off character named Picanjo. Basically, the Picanjo crew makes mostly really shitty but obscene animations, which makes the anti-Pico pretty polarizing. Hello everyone. My name's Picanjo. I know that most of you out there hate me, but I'd just like to say that I love you. Actually, Newgrounds has a lot of different Flash crews, putting out mostly cancerous content. I guess everyone really just wants to be a part of something, and it's especially inviting when they set the bar really low. The most infamous among these is the Clock Crew, founded by Strawberry Clock in 2001. <laughs> God clock, how am I not surprised to see you here? I always thought you would end up a homeless butt fag giving out hand jobs for nickels. I will now disgrace you in the worst possible way that I know. <laughs> Strawberry Clock is the Tomorrow Portal. We are the Clock Crew. Resistance is futile, and we'll be that next to your consequences. Vote 5. Yeah, I don't even know, man, but it sure is popular. There's been literally thousands of clock submissions over the years. There's even a yearly clock day going back to 2005. Also, there's been enough people hating on these chrono cunts to form the Anti Clock Crew. <laughs> What the hell was that beat? I cannot fight. All I could do is shit up the portal. Just like everything else you made. You make me ashamed to be a clock. Ah. Yo, where's Dookie? The Dookie! Hey! Yo. All that clock cancer aside, Newgrounds has seen some pretty decent Flash series over the years. Miss Dynamite kinda reminds me of Kill Bill, but with plenty of free-range political satire and fan service. <laughs> Ziao Ziao took stickman fighting to the next level. These types of animations have always been popular on Newgrounds because they're so easy to make, but this guy blew everyone away by having just ridiculous choreography.
Now Madness is all about that ultra violence. The series, based somewhere in Nevada, attempts to have a plot but it doesn't try terribly hard. It really takes a back seat to having as much carnage on the screen as possible. to say, Newgrounders love this series and there's an annual Madness Day where they make all kinds of tributes. There's also some pretty decent games made. Went off like accident. Oh, look out. Oh, oh. Ah, ah. Huh? Huh? Ah. So go ahead. Pull the trigger. Cause you know you want it. Sure is hard pleasuring yourself when you've got hooks for hands. Speaking of which, this is my BB Grace! Oh yeah! For fuck's sake, man! Haven't we seen enough of that thing? Well, have you ever seen this before? Santa Claus! Yes, I'm back! And this time, I will finally. No, 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 no! no. Now Fallen Angel is a series that looked like it had some real potential, but even after all the hype and awards it won, it never made it past episode 1. The guy put out a trailer for a reboot last year, but maybe he just has a fetish for starting over. Also, he's making the same mistake as Berserk. It looked way better without the extra D. Brackenwood is a very well done series about Bitey and the other creatures of this fictional world. Basically, he's the fast furry dick of the forest who acts that way because he's the last of his kind. Pakistanis love their culture. Jewish people love their culture. A lot of Catholics don't want to marry another Catholic. They want the religion to stay the same. Who want to spot up yourself and kill your race? Salad Fingers is about the exploits of a hermit with a love for different sensations. I like Rusty Spoon. The feeling of rust against my salad fingers is almost orgasmic. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I like it when the red water comes out. I, I know it hurts. Just try and sit still whilst the doctor eats your blood. Dad's Home and its sequels plays like a little kid's idealized version of their father.
broken by the cruel claws of the crab, the killing instinct of man, and the essence of 300 walruses. It's destroying the island. I never said it wouldn't. <laughs> you take care of my weevil now, you hear? <laughs> uh, thank you. That's what I always wanted, you know? I saw you just spill your soda. Yeah, there it goes. You should have known. Give me the job. I have got to file my tax returns. Oh, I am well worried. Will you help me? Oh, no. Hello, I am the taxman, and I have come to take your tax money off your... Oh, dear, I cannot get to your door, because there is a chocolate man in the way. Hello, I am a chocolate man, and I appear to be in your way. Mr. Chocolate Man, what are your general interests? My main loves in life are wrap and chicken and rice. I am not going to oppress you and make you work as my black slave. You can do whatever you want around me and it is fine. Good, because I have been picking in cotton fields for a well long time and my fingers hurt, so I don't want to pick it anymore. I want a desk job. Oh God, what is that? It's a Leo Plurodon, Charlie. A magical Leo Plurodon. It's going to guide our way to Candy Mountain. All right, guys, you do know that there's no actual Candy Mountain, right? Shun the non-believer. Shun. Shun. The Tankman series was started by Johnny Utah, the same guy who redesigned the Newgrounds logo. Plastic sports gear isn't real armor. Ha 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 ha. You're just jealous you don't have spikes in style, and we do. Ugh. Ha 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 ha! Look who's jealous of everybody that doesn't have a bullet in their liver! Catch you failing me again. Idiot. Come in, idiot. It's an intercom, sir, not a radio. Did you need something, sir? Yes, have yourself executed immediately. Insolence will not be tolerated. <gasps> You're not my baby, sir. I go to the liquor store down the street. All right, if you insist. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, you pick up some ice while you're out? Thanks, dude. Hear ye, hear ye! Proclamation of the king! Let the most capable men of every household attend the town square tomorrow morning for the choosing of the chosen one! <laughs> This stuff is almost harder than the death of my sister's unborn fetus. Don't worry, little boy. Zane will help you with that homework faster than you can say. Okay? Okay. You will regret your actions, Starbarians, for when the fourth moon of Galeron V eclipses the blood sun of Vargon, I shall be stronger than- <laughs> oh, Fuck! No! Ah, oh, oh, Christ! That's it, Kilgar. It can bend all the way up there if you really want it. Rabbit, hop by here. You rude thing. <laughs> A young lady says please. Sorry, ma'am. Young people today. Not even asking about my day or if I need uh... help with something. No, straight to what you want. Hey, you should respect mm. an old woman's personal space. Ow! <laughs> you just snapped me. You ain't fooling nobody. Give me back my fish. 
Looks like they're getting ready to clash me there. Hello, I'm the cute bucket and I am taking my first helicopter lesson. Once I get my license, I will do many activities in many establishments. First of all, I will go to France and get some stinky cheese and rub it all over my penis and masturbate with it. I will also get a smelly homosexual French man and we can have cheese sex. So a lot of fanboys like to take games and series that already exist in the mainstream and put their own spin on it. Shut up for Christ's sake, I know how to climb a ladder. Jesus, ow, my ear. Sorry, bruh. Thanks, Jesus. It's cool. Whoa, awesome. Hey, are you taking a dump? Hell yeah. So... Tell me about Metal Gear. You knew? The game is fucking called Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, guys. Let's fight with all of our might. I can't. I... <sighs> Lucrezia! Hey, guys. There's, there's a monster. I am my own monster. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. <laughs> ピンチ。シュゲケモードで Magikarp, eh? Well, two can play at this game. I choose you, Magikarp! Magikarp, use your splash attack! Now, Magikarp, hit him with a splash attack! Great, Magikarp! Now you splash! Now, Magikarp, hit him with a splash attack! You can do it, Magikarp! I believe in you! Splash attack, now! You call that a splash? Show him what a real splash attack looks like, Magikarp. Alright, Magikarp! Now finish him off with a splash attack! Magikarp, respond quickly with a splash attack! Magikarp, return! I choose you! Magikarp, use a splash attack! Now Magikarp, hit him with a splash attack! I love big hey. dicks in me! <laughs> oh god, yeah, me too! Oh, oh, wait! And I'm going to kill you! Until you're dead! Today! In fact, there's entire series like this, and they range from good for a chuckle to just ridiculous over the top fan fiction. Rico. Suave. Rico. Suave. Uh-huh, you're not the only one who can catch Pokemon Ash. Watch this. I'm friggin' pumped! It's battle, bitch! Yeah! Yeah, boy! Hey, <laughs> you, you got a frog. Shut up, he's... he's alright. Ribbit. Frogs bounce when you drop them. Monkey, use.
That's a matter of fact. It isn't! Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. I throw Swedish fish on you! Uh, you'll pay for that, Scrooge! Uh, yeah! Now before I take back control of this video and keep it from becoming one of those cancerous no effort compilations, you know the ones, I want to show you some of the standalone. You know, the videos that hold up all on their own. Either that or the creator was just too fucking lazy to make a sequel. You have no chance to survive made your time. Ha ha ha. All your base, your base, base, base. All your base don't belong to us. Did you put it in there last night? I, I don't. Did you check? Did you pick that? Please, hmm? please stop. I will not stop until I get the answers that I no. crave. No. My Batman was injured and trying to get steady when Abraham Lincoln came back with a machete, but suddenly something caught his leg and he tripped to Indiana Jones took him out with his whip. Old Godzilla was fucking around, Tokyo City like a big playground when suddenly... No, no, seriously, when the gooks had us surrounded and I yelled, Get down! All the Negroes would start dancing instead and get shot. Hey, don't look at me like that. I was just trying to save lives. <laughs> we gotta stop him. God damn it! The tale teller knew the hurt this little man was facing. They were outcasts in a world that could be callous and debasing. So the jester dashed away and soon had formed a congregation. For the tricks he once neglected now had brought him adulation. So what about games? Well, Flash has given its users more and more creative power over the years, but back in the day, it was very simple. Like back in the Flash 3 days, something like Pico School was considered cutting edge. But that changed pretty quickly going into the early 2000s as the tools used improved by leaps and bounds.
An example of a bigger game from that era is the Fear Unlimited series that takes inspiration from Devil May Cry. A year after that, there was things like Fancy Pants Adventures and Weapon Fire. In 2007, Newgrounds Rumble came out, which had classic Portal characters pitted up against each other. In 2008, the Journey of Remus series started. It's basically just a point and click, but it's got some style and the mechanics of it are just alien and trippy. All kinds of good games that year really, like Kuroshi Suicide Salaryman, where you play as, I assume, a Japanese man who urgently needs to kill himself. Which is odd that he has such a hard time because the Japs literally wrote the book on it. But then again, you always gotta stay one step ahead of those greedy life insurance companies. In 2009 had some pretty crazy games like Time Fuck and Super Mario 63. The guy created a huge 2D Mario 64 style game. In 2010, Evil Dog made Road of the Dead, which had you trying to drive through wave after wave of zombies and military. <laughs> In 2011, someone had the bright idea to redo Pokemon as a tower defense game. It's a pretty extensive series at this point. Basically, you go through the main plot, leveling up your Pokemon, all that normal stuff, except for every fight, you kind of just sit them there and set them on auto. I mean, there is some strategy involved, but also a lot of grinding, and it feels like a gateway into one of those time sync auto clicker games. So let's skip right ahead to modern games, because I have one in mind that really shows where we're at. It's called a uh, Wikibine Kid Yodin. The controls on this game are really crisp, which makes the fighting difficult feel more honest. There's also leveling, skills, and equipment involved, so you can develop your character how you like. I mean, I'm sucking too much dick on this one game, but I think Newgrounds still has it. Now, we can't rightfully talk about Newgrounds without mentioning all the games of the 2D women variety. Dating Sims are games that involve grinding up stats and making money, all to impress some bimbo with your alpha swag. You know, like the hats with the tags on them, just to pretend like you buy hats every day because you're fucking ballin'. Girls be looking at you like, this guy's a solid investment in my booty value. He's got money and he's retarded. So anyway, Anyway, Sim Man really kicked off this whole genre with Sim Girls. This game really has it all. Three girls to go for and a cum dumpster in your basement. There's also dating sims based around different concepts and animes like Love Hina, Galaxy Angel, and Gang Girl Girl. You know, like a Japanese girl who for some reason wants to be black and for some other reason dyed her hair blonde. I mean, yeah, crazy bitches, right? But she won't give it up easy. You have to memorize and regurgitate trivial details for her. Be like, this is some kind of fucking classroom. Like, I don't give a fuck about your bus size on paper when I got it right here. And of course, because got Pico Sim Day going after Neen's psycho Asian pussy. And then Zelda Sim Day where Link finally gets what he's owed. AIDS like the fucking twink he is. And then there's just the H games that skip all the other dating stuff. <laughs>
There's also some games built on kinky concepts like the Breeder game or King Stroker. <laughs> Nifty work, Mr. Joe Average. Okay, that last one isn't exactly kinky, but it is relatable. There's also Frank's Adventures, where you travel the lands asking girls for nudes. So none of these games or videos would exist without the blood, sweat, and other body fluids of flash artists on Newgrounds. So let's give a little props here. Dan Paladin has a really iconic art style that gives his characters a certain endearing quality, which is a good contrast to all the violence going on in his games. These days, he's still lending his skills to the behemoth, like with their latest creation, Pit People. Afro Ninja is mostly into making escape type games, but he's also made some classics like Territory War and the ultra popular Minecraft skin creator. I mean, if you're gonna fall for the dead dated autism time stealer meme, you might as well do it in style. Johnny Utah, as I've said, is behind the new tank design and the Tank Man series. Overall, he does a little bit of this and that with his semi dark comedy style, including voice acting. Ego Raptor showed up in 2006 with his high strung awesome series poking fun at popular Vidya. He also took a crack at Shonen anime with his series Girl Chan in Paradise. Jazza is the one behind the whole Larry series and the current king of the portal, the Tale Teller. This guy has his own kind of comedically dark art style that gives a lot of his characters the impression of being straight up assholes. Now Zone Sama mostly used Newgrounds as a platform to advertise, posting animated shorts and demo games. He or she also creates ZTV news to let people know about what's coming up and the like. Con artists came up with both Crush the Castle, which seems awfully similar to a certain app game, and the Last Stand series. The latest addition to which has you both exploring and fighting your way through zombie infested Union City. So it's kind of like The Last of Us, but without the presumed sexual tension. Well, shut the fuck up, Sassy. She's fucking 14, you fucking pedophile. Well, the way I see it, there's a lack of options here, and if you can shank a motherfucker before you can give consent, that's pretty fucked up. Anywho, XGen Studios came up with lots of interesting, mostly stickman based games like Defend Your Castle and Stick RPG. Crinkles is the man behind the long running Madness series that, with the help of some others, has branched off into games now. First, there was Madness Interactive, then Project Nexus, and now he wants to take it even further with the Nexus sequel. Wheezy slash Mozland games are really zany and chaotic like those different themed shark games where the only goal is to destroy as much as you can. He also did Frank's Adventures and the Castle Cat platformer series. Sexual Lobster creates all kinds of skit cartoons full of ridiculous situations and characters. For years, his bread and butter was the Pleasure Island series starring Fernando, Randy, and Gooseman. Matt Like Swords is behind the whole epic battle fantasy series that started as just a turn-based fighter but evolved into a full-blown RPG and later editions. He also made Bullet Heaven, and as you can see, all his games have a certain silly, chibi aesthetic to them. But yeah, there's tons more Flash creators putting out the goods, I'll just throw some more at you here. So in conclusion, has Newgrounds lost its edge over the years? Well yeah, it pretty much fucking has. I don't know what their whole financial situation is like, they sure complain about it enough, but they've had to delete some old classics just to clean things up for advertisers. I mean, I didn't know that those dozens of free-to-play MMORPGs advertising on the site had such high standards. You can walk around like a peasant and feel like a peasant while the rest of the community laughs at how poor you are. <laughs> <laughs> But, if you get your parents' credit card or steal it, you can purchase in-game tokens. It's basically a big middle finger to the original user base of the site, so I hope it was worth it. I mean, you'll get some quality stuff today, but you'll never get the same amount of teenage angst and lulls as we head back in the turn of the millennium. And the sad truth is that censorship kills creativity, especially considering the original user base with all their various and gratuitous issues. Don't look at me. Oh, I'm looking right at you, big daddy. I mean, Tom is the same guy who came up with Pico School. What the fuck happened? I guess NG just got too big for its balls. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a share. Until next time, this is Sassy saying, when in doubt, post anime bitches.